Hello everyone, Sheikh Abuzid here with a new video. If you have been following this YouTube channel long enough, you already know that my higher recommended form plugin is Fluent Forms. I like to use Fluent Forms across all of my websites and also across all of my clients' websites as well. Because the plugin, whether you are using the free or the paid version of Fluent Forms, is giving you a ton of features. But one of the most features that I use all the time when I set up my forms using Fluent Forms is the email notifications. Now, the form email notifications means that what emails can you set up to be sent out once someone completes their um, form, whether you are using Fluent Forms to build a contact form or an application form or a support form. Now, email notifications are very important because it can make your life easier and also can improve the experience of the people who completes your website forms. So, fair enough now, let me show you how you can configure or set up the email notifications inside Fluent Forms. So, this is a very simple and a basic support form that I have just created using Fluent Forms. Actually, I've used one of their templates. Now, let me show you the experience that will uh, the people who completes the form will go through. Let's say that I add my, or I complete my form like this. I add my first name, last name, email address. Also, I choose which department that I like to send this message to. And I'll add a subject and also a description for my issue or simply add my message here. And then I click support for. Then I will receive like this very simple and basic thank you message saying that thank you for your message. We'll, we'll get in touch with you shortly. So this is the experience that the people will go through however we can improve this experience using email notifications that can be set up inside fluent forms let me show you how you can do this so this is the editor if you are creating a new form using fluent forms this is the editor this is where you can add all of your like um, fields if you want to uh, add a new field to this form for example counter list you can just drag and drop it here and this will be added to your form. But this is not what we are looking for. We are looking for email notifications. And this can be found inside the settings and integrations tab. This is where you can control all of your form settings. So we don't like to or don't need to use the settings here. We need to use the email notifications. This is where all the magic will happen. Now, to set up a new notification, we just simply click add notification here. And then we need to, like, first we need to add a name to this notification. So you, if you are setting up different email notifications, you know which notification belongs to who. I mean, if you are sending notifications, let's say to um, my email, to Sheriff email inbox, I need to name this as my email notification. So let's say Sheriff email notification so this email notification will be sent to me this is how i know um, or how i can organize all of my notifications and then i and then i need to choose which email that this notification will be sent to you can just send add any email here i mean if you choose enter email you can just enter any email here and this message will or this this email will be sent to for example, if I want to receive this inside my inbox, my inbox, I will just add Sharif and let's say this is, for example, okay, gg.com, which is a very fake email. Okay, so this is if I want to receive this notification into my inbox. Of course, you can send it to one of your colleagues. You can send it to whoever you want. But let's play um, deeper with this enter email address let's say that i want to send this to the people who who completes my form so let's say that i want to send a confirmation email to the contact person who completes my support form i can simply select a field here and then click this arrow here and i will choose email okay so i'm selecting a field from inside the form if you remember we have added an email field here if we just click refresh here we are asking people to add their email address so i can configure an email notification that will be sent to the inbox or the email address of the person who completes 
my form so i would simply click and choose a field here so this email notification will be sent to the person who completes my form and this i mean improves the user experience highly because now people will know that they have uh, you have already received their contact um, or their message through your contact form or support form you can also configure this deeper if we choose configure routing let's say that you are asking people as we have added here to select which department they are they want to contact now we have the technical support and sales and marketing and the billing and invoices all of these departments are managed by different people so if someone wants to let's say that they want to um, contact the billing and invoices department we need the people who are working inside the billing and invoices to receive this message and we don't need to send this message to the people who are inside technical support or sales and marketing departments so if we need to send this message only to the people who are inside the billing and invoices department we can just configure routing here and say send this message let's say to invoices at my company okay that come only if the department is or equals billing and invoices okay so this means if the person who completes the form they would they would choose the department of billing and invoices i need this message to be sent to the invoices at my company.com so they will know they are receiving a message okay so at least you know what still we can configure different email notifications okay and here inside the subject we can just say like a new contact form we can say um, email or support form form or support query inquiry from our website okay you can just say this okay or we can even improve this and say from and we can add the email address of the person who are sending this form by just clicking these three dots here and choosing adding email this is a variable a dynamic variable so if someone completes let's say that they add here inside their email address they will add this email for example okay so if i add this dynamic field here the people who receive this message they will see this email instead of this variable here okay so they just you can as again you can organize all of the emails that you are receiving and if you like to add let's say the first name you can just add it here now they will receive they will receive in the subject of the message the first name if you like to remove all of this you can just remove it if you like let's say a subject okay if you like to add the subject for example okay you can just add this here and now the subject will be the subject of the person who completes this form this is the subject of the email will be inside the subject of the email notifications but usually i don't like to do this to avoid any confusion and here inside the email copy if you want to add all of the information that are completed by the person who completes this form you can just click the short codes here and add let's say all information and let me find it i think it is at the bottom here all that now all the data inside the form will be added in this email notification and usually i like to customize this let's say that hi invoice team here you go a new support inquiry for example okay and then i will add all of this data if you however still you can you know customize all of this using the short codes so we have just added or completed one of the identifications to be sent to my invoices team i would just change this name and say invoices invoices department email notification okay let me just fix this and then i will save this notification here again i can add another email notification let's say add a new notification i want to send this to my 
email which is sharif at as I mentioned ggg or fff.com I will name this sharif's email notification notification um, I will say new support ticket for example okay I will just add all of the data inside the email and then I will just save notification now we have two notifications and one of the most important notifications that you need to set up is the email notification that is sent to the person who completes the form and this can be added by like add a new notification and let's say sender email notification let me fix again the spelling mistake and I select a field and I choose the email subject and I would say your support field, your support um, message is received. Okay. And here I can just add like hi, and they will add their name by adding their first name here dynamically. And then I will say thank you. Thanks for your message your support request has been received okay of course you can add like so many information here again if you like to add your um, let's say the complete data you can just add it from here or the subject or whatever dynamic data you like to add inside this um, form here I will just or this notification, I will click send notification. Now, once someone completes their form or the support form, all of these email notifications will be sent out. The first one will be sent to the invoices department. If the sender chooses the message to be or to contact the invoices and billing department, I will receive a message inside my inbox and also I will send an, an email notification to the people who completes the form and all of this will be done automatically and at once so this is how easy you can set up email notifications using flown forms if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and also please consider to subscribe to my youtube channel because i create similar videos every single week to help you create better and more effective wordpress websites now thank you so much and see you in the next video